Hi there, I'm Ernest from Excel and today we'll be identifying the differences between relations and functions. Many people struggle with the function section simply because they don't quite understand these fundamental differences. So for clarity, let's start by defining relations and functions. A relation is simply a link between two sets of numbers where each input is linked to one or more outputs by a specific rule. A function, however, is a relation except that each input has to have only one specific output. All functions are therefore relations, but not all relations are functions. In the same way that all thumbs are fingers, but not all fingers are thumbs. So, if we look at the following relations, let's determine which ones are functions and which ones aren't. Keeping in mind that functions only have one specific output, the one-to-one -one relation. This is a function, as our input only has a single output. The one-to-many relation. This is not a function as our single input has various or multiple outputs. And then the many to one relation. This is a function as well, as many inputs also have a single output. To better demonstrate the differences between a relation and a function, I'd like to use the simple example of a motorbike. Let's focus on the different inputs the bike has to determine what their outputs are and therefore determine whether these relations are functions or not. Example 1. Input A is the accelerator. When triggered, our accelerator's output is the bike moving forward. We therefore have a single input linked to a single output. There cannot be another output from this input apart from the bike moving forward which means that this is a one-to-one -one relation and therefore represents a function. Example 2. Input B, the clutch. When triggered, the output of our clutch can have various results depending on the situation, whether it's a decline, incline or level plane. The outputs would respectively be the bike rolling forward, backwards or just standing still. There are therefore many outputs related to our single input. This is a one-to-many relation which therefore does not represent a function. Example 3. Input C, the brakes. When triggered, the output of the brakes, both front and back, have a single output. The bike stops. We again have a single output from many inputs, which means that this is a many-to-one relation and therefore represents a function again. In grade 12, this ties into the vertical line test, which is used to prove if a graph is a function or not. This can be done by moving a vertical line across the graph and determining the number of intercept points we have. The number of intercepts the graph has is equal to its number of outputs. Therefore, if there is more than one intercept, there are many outputs, and the graph is not a function. However, if there is only a single intercept, then there is only a single output and the graph is therefore a function. So, in summary, whenever you try and determine whether a relation is a function or not, all you have to do is look at the outputs of that relation. If the relation has many outputs, then it is not a function. But if it only has one output, then you know you've got a function. So this information should help you build a more solid foundation in the function section. Go ahead, try a couple of questions, and I'll see you in the next video.